Hi everyone, here's the video I've been promising you. Please be sure to watch it in its entirety because you may miss some details that can be important to get the best results. So here's a video without any further delay. Pay close attention, play it over as many times as you like uh, to get the details and the most use out of these helpful hints. Thank you. Now I'm Matt Perry, Perry Window Cleaning in Springfield, Ohio. And you might be wondering, why would a window cleaner want to share window touch-up secrets for lightly soiled uh, windows and mirrors, something that we get paid for to do? Well, it's not practical every time the grandkids put their hands on the finger uh, and fingerprint out the windows, I can't talk, uh, and or the doves uh, put the nose on there or the cat you know, on the glass and mess it up. It's not practical to have a window cleaning every time that happens. Now, ladder work, uh, anything at height, uh, you know, be safe. Don't, don't try to tackle that. Let us do that as professionals. But in between, to keep those windows looking sharp and having that fingerprint not right in the middle of your favorite viewing window when you're having your morning coffee, uh, this is a helpful hint. So here, here it is. I'll share it right away but listen for all the details so you get the best results. First of all, it's a 50-50 mixture. We put it in a spray bottle, and then we use microfiber towels. This one's already been in use for years in the window cleaning van. It'll get stained, but it still works. A good quality microfiber towel is very helpful. Here's, here's a newer one. It's, uh, it's nice and clean still. Now, uh, the 50-50 mix involves pure water we use it right out of our purified water that we clean windows with but for you it's not practical to invest thousands of dollars in a water purification system like we have you can get distilled water and it has no dissolved solids it has a label in there somewhere you can get distilled water it has zero dissolved solids like our water does when we take the tap water and purify it City tap water uh, here in Springfield runs about 200 parts per million on the average. If you're on a well, your well water runs maybe higher than that, 300, maybe 400 or more parts per million. What those dissolved solids are, they leave little deposits behind on the glass. You know, kind of like if you've seen a dishwasher without using that little rinse thing, that's what happens. You get those spots, okay? Distilled water, if that dries on the glass, it's just going to evaporate because there's zero dissolved solids in distilled water. Now, if you're like me and my wife, uh, we've got sleep apnea and we use a CPAP machine, so we have the distilled water handy all the time. Now, that's one ingredient that you fill half the bottle with. Halfway up, that's about halfway, isn't it? Okay, halfway up with distilled uh, water. The other half, you use rubbing alcohol. Not drinking alcohol, rubbing alcohol. This one happens to be 70%. Okay, get it clear there. There, you got to see. This will work, or we try to find just a little uh, higher content, the 91%. And uh, this is all it is. Uh, you can get it at the local store. We do that Walmart thing, and uh, that's where we get these items. You put that. In the other half of the bottle so it's a 50 50 mix rubbing alcohol distilled water and uh, fill the spray bottle that's it that's what you use now the technique is what I'm going to share with you now okay the first thing I'm going to demonstrate the mix on is a hallway mirror now I hung this mirror so if you're like me and not too skilled with hanging mirrors, use your hand to brace this to make sure you don't knock it off the wall. Don't want you to lose the mirror. Spray the solution. You work around the edges and then through the middle as well. Side to side or little circles, whatever works best for your comfort. And use the dirty cloth or the first cloth to get this. Now, most people stop there and they think they're done but you want to take a dry cloth and buff it out. This gives you less chance of having a streak left behind. Now this is our favorite viewing window, the hummingbird feeder, the view 
out our front window where you can see your deer across the road. And our grandkids love this window as well. They get on the couch and put their hands on the glass. Remember to use that second perfectly dry towel to buff it out to get the best results. The microfiber towels work very good. You can use other things. Don't use paper towels. Don't use towels that have been washed with fabric softener. They both may leave some lint behind. Now we're doing a bathroom mirror that was hung by a professional, so we don't have to put one hand to hold it up. But it's a good idea to move obstacles out of your way so you don't break anything. Once again, it looks perfectly clean at this point, but still grab that second towel or microfiber and buff it out. Get the best results you can. A top quality microfiber towel is not very uh, cheap. But uh, we buy it ours in bulk, and these are what we use uh, for touch up and trim out uh, on windows, even though we use traditional squeegees. Pay close attention to the care instructions if you get one of these. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful for you, and have a wonderful day.